Hi, so this is my first vlog for the DW Film Studies course and um, I picked the learning outcome number five, which is demonstrated the skills and recognized the benefits of working collaboratively. You are able to share skills and knowledge. You are able to take on different roles and responsibilities as part of a team and show respect for different points of view and ideas. And I feel like I um, definitely learned so much from my group and like the conversations that I had. Um, like people participated and shared their insight because we had a lot of like group time and conversations, like even out, like during lunch, um, we talked about like whether what films, um, what we thought about the film, uh, like My Girl. Um, so I think it's important that, like for me initially, I kind of, I realized that I overlooked a lot of like the technical aspects of like um, the choices of the director um, that influenced the way that the story or the film is being told. And for me, I'm more used to analyzing themes and like thematic aspects like in my English class. So um, I definitely learned a lot um, and I missed a lot of things, like a lot of details um, that I learned from my classmates. So for example, in um, My Girl, I, the scenes that I was, um, that I first noticed was, for example, the, um, the scene where, um, Veda is getting makeup put on, um, by Shelly, and I think, I, I noticed that as, like, um, a turning point in terms of, like, her coming of age and, like, um, the moment where she gets her period and all of these different, um, steps into like transitioning to womanhood and I was like more focused on the plot and um, I kind of forgot to sort of analyze more deeply in terms of like technical aspects um, but I did notice like a few things like for example um, I did notice like the different types of shots so for example um like the distance that veda feels with shelly and like her dad um because it's always they're always portrayed in like a long shot and so she feels sort of isolated from them it's always her like sneaking on them or like looking at them through a window far away and we can literally see the physical and also I guess mental distance between them. For me, I was more impacted by Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom more than My Girl in terms of uh, choices of the director um, because I think My Girl was more typical and everything was predictable. Um, but the little things I did appreciate, like um, for example, after Thomas J's death, um, Veda is in the tree and she's like looking down and the camera movements um, is is mirroring her fear um, because the camera itself trembles and um, I think that was a good way of like showing like her perspective and sort of the emotions that she's feeling um, and uh, the tone of the frame or like the colors of the film also um, shifts in the middle um, depending on like what part of the film it is or what part of the plot it's trying to tell and again, uh, the change in the color in her mood ring when it goes from black, which is like a signal of fear or general like instability. Whereas in the end when it's like blue, it shows that she's calm. And I think that's because she embraces what death really is. Um, and she experiences death in the most like unpredictable ways, um, even if she lives in a funeral home. Um, for me, I think it was easier to pick those elements in uh, Moonrise Kingdom um, because Wes Anderson is known as an auteur which, who is basically, it's I think it's a French term um, for someone whose directing style is so unique and um, Wes Anderson is very known for like his really um, bright uh, colors and um, there's like a high degree of like formalism um, when it comes to format, uh, color, line, shape, texture um, every shot is like carefully arranged and staged um, and one thing that I learned about today is like the rule of thirds. I mostly knew about it in photography um, just for like the aesthetic appeal and sort of I also realized that people purposely um, make the scene or the shot unappealing 
to kind of evoke an emotion in the audience. So for example, for Moonrise Kingdom, it would be like a sense of like inner chaos. Um, I also noticed that too, um, after the movie, I felt really dizzy because um, he's constantly using tracking shots. And so every shot is just moving. The, the um, frame is just constantly um, moving from one scene to the next. And I feel like there's no pause in the middle. It's just um, ongoing and constantly just like, making the reader or the audience um, uncomfortable. Uh, also what I noticed is that because the colors are so saturated and they're so bright, you have to pay attention to so many details at once, like for example, like what the character is wearing or even the background itself. Um, the character is always in the center, so you're trying to focus on the character and their like facial expressions, but there's also so much going on in the background that you really don't know where to like where to watch specifically, so I guess that's also trying, uh, Wes Anderson trying to um, evoke a, a sense of chaos.